Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Right, Mochi? Now, believe it or not, we are heading towards spring. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my spring wish list. I recently uploaded a video sharing my no buy list for this year. And the reason behind that is that I do still want to shop this year, but I want to be a lot more intentional. And I feel like making these types of wish lists really help narrow down everything that I really need instead of just the things that I want. And let's just jump right into my spring wish list. Now on the side, I have my laptop where I have everything that's on my wish list. And the first one is from the brand Demolier London. I really want to try out this brand. I've personally never owned a bag from them before, but the first style that I would like to purchase from this brand, because there are quite a few that I really love, but the first one that I would probably purchase is called called the Midi New York. Now, this is a top handle tote bag and it comes in two sizes. The Midi is the smaller one. Now, this is a small grain cowhide leather bag. And like I said, it has a top handle. It is a tote bag, but the Midi also comes with a strap. So you can also wear it crossbody. Now, the reason why I wanna go for this size is because I think this is the perfect everyday bag. And I'm kind of looking for that kind of medium sized bag because I do own a lot of smaller bags or just huge totes. And I don't really own anything that's in between. Now this bag has gold hardware and the particular color that I would love it in is the tan color. Now this is so beautiful because it does have a contrast stitching in the color accrue. And I think the tan color is gonna be perfect for spring and even summer. Next up is another bag and this is from a high street brand, Massimo Dutti. And it is called the Woven Napa Leather Handbag. It is a top handle bag that you can also wear as a shoulder bag and it has a magnetic closure. Now, I love this bag because it's so, so chic. It's really giving Bottega. It comes in two colors in a very dark chocolate brown, but I really love the beige. I think this is a great, great everyday bag as well for the spring and summertime. Next up are some clothing pieces. And this year, I really wanna step up my game and invest in staple spring pieces. So this first one that I wanna share with you guys is from the brand Quince. They have very, very affordable luxury clothing. And what I mean by that is that their clothes are made from mainly natural fibers. So think silk, cotton, linen, cashmere, wool. Now the first thing on my wish list from Quinn's is the maxi silk skirt. Now, what I love about this is that this silk skirt is 100% machine washable. And we love that. Now they also do have the midi skirt, but I am really missing a maxi skirt in my closet. And this skirt comes in four colors, which if it was up to me, I would want every single color. But I think the first color that is a high priority is a cream maxi skirt. So a lot of my bottoms are more in darker colors, my skirts, my pants. But as I've been making my mood board, for this year. I've been seeing a lot of Pinterest inspo that work with lighter bottoms. So I do really, really want a cream silk skirt. Moving on to the next thing on my spring wish list, and it is also by Quinn's, the Mongolian cashmere cardigan sweater. Now, this is a beautiful cardigan. It comes in many colors, and one thing I love about Quinn's as well is that they really nail the colors. The color palette of Quinn's is so luxurious. It's very muted. It's not too warm. It 
it's a little bit more to the cooler side, but I feel like that makes it look so much more expensive. Now, the color that I want is in the heather gray color, and this is such a beautiful color. It's the perfect gray color. So originally, I was looking at a similar cardigan from Cezanne, but I think that one is made from a lot of wool, and this one is in cashmere. And I personally prefer cashmere over wool just because it's also a fabric that you can easily wear in the spring and summer. And because I also have quite sensitive skin, sometimes wool is quite itchy on my skin. Next up, we have another bag from the brand Banana Republic. Even though I haven't been to this store in forever, to be really honest, I feel like it was always more of a store that my mom would shop at, but I am in love with their bags and I'm currently very very much in love with this particular bag it's called the Vita bag so this is a suede leather bag it's in the color chestnut which is this beautiful caramel brown now what I love about this bag is that it's a big tote bag that is still structured so it's not a slouchy tote bag it is quite structured still but it is so big and roomy it fits a laptop and I think for the price point point this bag is $380 it is so worth it it is made in Italy it is made from real suede and you can't really beat it for the price now I have mentioned Cezanne earlier in this video and this is a brand that has been on my wish list for such a long time time. Now, Cezanne has been around for a while, but as an ex fast fashion girly, I am just getting into brands that are more sustainable and that have higher quality pieces. And Cezanne is definitely a brand that I want to try. The first thing is the Leontine jumper. Now, this is a beautiful organic cotton jumper. And I love this one because of the collar and the beautiful button detail. Detail. It has tortoiseshell buttons, which are my favorite buttons. I always feel like they look so luxurious. And I really love the slouchy kind of fit of this jumper. I really want it in the accru and camel color. I was also thinking about maybe the darker color, the black or navy with cream stripes. But I think for spring and also for summer, the camel and accru is going to be a perfect addition to my spring wardrobe. I love that it's made out of 100% organic cotton. So it's going to be a very breathable. So you can definitely wear this in the summer as well. Now, when I think about Cezanne, I think about the Betty Cardigan. It is such an iconic piece by the brand and I love it so, so much. I had a really hard time really picking out what color I wanted in this cardigan. So I went for the navy crochet and this is such a beautiful cardigan. My goodness, the navy color, it's super deep and dark. So this is a great alternative to black. And I love the tortoise shell buttons on the Betty Cardigan. The crochet detailing just really makes it a little bit more special, I guess, because on the high street, there are cardigans and jackets that look like the Betty Cardigan. Now, the last Cezanne item on my spring wish list is actually a bag, and it is the the Milo or Milo Classic bag. I know I will love this bag because I have the Celine Triomphe and I love that bag. That is probably my most favorite bag in my handbag collection. I would love this bag in the glossy burgundy color. Red has been really, really trendy at the moment, but to be honest, red is also a classic color that comes back every single time in fashion. I am not typically a person that wears color in my wardrobe, but I do love dark and muted colors. So burgundy is a really safe color still for me to inject in my neutral wardrobe. I know that there's a lot of other brands that do this specific style, but I love the one from Cezanne. I love that there's no logos except for inside the flap 
on the outside, you wouldn't tell. It's like a if you know, you know bag, and I love that. Now, it wouldn't be a spring video if I didn't talk about a trench coat, and I love trench coats so much. My favorite one is a vintage Burberry one that I thrifted in Japan last year, but this year, I want to add a different trench coat. The one that I have from Burberry is a little bit more of a classic fit, but I'm really looking for that oversized slouchy look now the one that is on my wish list is quite a splurge it is the totem signature cotton blend trench coat my goodness this is probably the trench coat of my dreams it is double breasted it is very oversized it is definitely not a classic trench coat let me tell you that because the fit of it is very oversized it has really puffy sleeves it doesn't have the belt loops it doesn't have the shoulder thingies that you usually have i don't know what those are called but i love this trench coat because it has a very modern feel to it now like i said it's a splurge it's almost a thousand dollars but i do think that trench coats are pieces that you do wear multiple times a year not only for one season but any transitional season in really and depending on where you live you can even wear it on colder summer nights last but not least we have a pair of sunnies on my spring wish list and it is from loewe and it's called the rectangular sunglasses i love that this has an all metal frame and of course in gold because i am a golden girly and i love that it is a rectangular shape and I love that the glasses are in a dark green tint. And I love that it has the beautiful Enneagram uh, logo on the sides. So I think that is super iconic for Loewe. I feel like this is a very elevated kind of sunglasses, but that can still be worn for casual outfits because the one from Celine is like very, um, I would say like, classic it's very timeless but it's a little bit more on the chic side whereas this one can also be worn with just like you know like sweats and a sweater and those are all the items that are on my spring wish list i really thought hard about these items again i had way more on this list but i really narrowed it down to my favorite 10 pieces that i would love to purchase for spring this year again i'm not saying that i'm gonna go out and buy all of these different things they are wish lists so whether or not i am purchasing these i am kind of like dreaming about these pieces now and of course i would update you guys if i decide to purchase any of these if you watched all the way till the end thank you so much you're a real one if you're not subscribed to the channel yet i would love it if you join us and i just wish you a great day i love you and i'll see you in the next video